Hi and welcome. So um, I thought that I've read this book, you know, I've given some time to it. I might as well make a video out of it because, you know, I'm just trying to make full use of my resource. And uh, if you've noticed, uh, my background is different and that is because I'm recording in my kitchen now. I feel like standing up while I'm doing recording, you know, just to change things up a little bit uh, because, you know, I don't know why, but somehow I feel much more comfortable standing up. I feel like, you know, I can breathe better. <laughs> so anyway, the, the Ravishing of Lolstein by Marguerite Duras. I think I've kind of pronounced the name uh, incorrectly in the past. Apparently, you know, if I had uh, checked the Wikipedia entry of this author, I would have known the pronunciation was Duras, not Dura. So, you know, new information, learn something new every day. Anyway, I dislike this book. And I think this is the first time I'm doing a book talk video where I actually, you know, talking about book that I dislike. And I thought, you know, there is something to talk about, you know, when I dislike a book, um, there is still something to kind of explore on why I dislike certain books. Now, just because I dislike a book doesn't mean that the book is objectively bad. But I would probably say that a book is bad anyway, because I personally find it bad. So there's a difference. So if you are interested to read this book, I would still encourage it. Seriously, because you might find something that you find interesting in this book and um, I seriously think that you know you should check it out if you feel just even slightly interested in it. So go ahead. The Ravishing of Lolstein is about a woman who was abandoned by her fiancé at a party. It was a ball and her fiancé was kind of like dancing with another woman and then they kind of went away, he went away with the woman and so he, she was left alone and she was all devastated. Lol was devastated, she was sad, she was comforted by a friend Tatiana or Tatiana Carl apparently, you know, that's how 50% um, of the time Tatiana is also referred to as Tatiana Carl in this book, her full name. So I think that was weird. But anyway, she was kind of sad at the time. And then fast forward 10 years later to the present, um, Lolstein uh, was married to a, to a musician guy and uh, she now already had like three children with the guy and you know but the marriage isn't, wasn't exactly some, some kind of a really you know passionate marriage. It was a passionless marriage I would say and Lol was still this kind of quiet uh, and apparently according to her friends this this crazy lady you know quietly crazy person which i found was kind of unfair for lol because she kind of experienced something bad in the past and her marriage wasn't exactly something that was super wonderful but she just spent her life you know uh, doing stuff at home you know being uh, you know decorate her house and plan stuff and stuff like that you know just and take a walk one of her favorite hobbies in this book is taking a walk. And so she returned to the place where all of that happened, you know, in, in South Tala. And there she met again, you know, she had a reunion with her best friend Tatiana Carl. And, and Tatiana Carl was also married. But the thing is, Tatiana Carl also had another thing going on. She had an affair with a guy. And that guy's name is Jack, Jack Holt. Now, this book is uh, not narrated by a third person omniscient. It was actually narrated by one of the characters in this book. And that narrator is Jack Holt. You know, the guy who is the lover of Lolstein's best friend. So, now we at least see what is the point of view of the narrator in this book. We can at least kind of see... Um, how that narration is going to take like in terms of direction or tone and i think it's going to make a lot of sense what i'm talking about here is actually up until the midpoint of this book which i personally found really interesting and that's why i decided to order Margaret duras another book which was the lover but then i continued reading this book you know and 
and Jack Holt's voice start to become stronger and I found that you know after after the middle of this book you know uh, when Lolstein is starting to was starting to interact with Jack Holt things went downhill for the story basically I started to hear less and less about Lolstein and um, she and Jack started to have you know their own affair also and you know things you know as far as the plot went it kind of you know you know stuff just proceeded from that so I'm not gonna continue further with the plot but in any case I just thought that you know this book was it was a kind of a failure in terms of how it you know portrayed Lol as a character I felt cheated as a reader because I thought that Lol was going to be really important in this book and yeah you can kind of say that at the end we still see Lol but we do not see a lot from her. We don't hear a lot uh, on what is going on in her head. It was also in the midpoint that we start to uh, kind of see that Lol has this obsession of watching uh, her her best friend Tatiana Carl um, and her lover doing some sexy stuff at the at the hotel you know she would just sit at the field outside lie there and then look from the window you know on what are they doing inside so she kind of enjoyed that i just felt that it was kind of um frustrating to not be able to hear a lot on what is going on inside Lowell's, um Lowell's mind like i I was really interested to see that Lol has developed this kind of um, uh, obsession, you know, with voyeurism and watching her friend doing, you know, you know, having sex. But I wanted to understand why, and I wanted to do it from, you know, preferably from her point of view. But because the narrator of this book is actually this, 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 this lover, this guy who is kind of douchey in a way. Um, he was the lover of Tatiana and now he became the lover of Lol and you know he was just an all-around womanizer it felt like the voice that we are getting you know is not going to be really um, impartial when it comes to portraying how Lol was as a person we still kind of see Lol being spoken of as this uh, this really uh, quietly crazy woman which you know really I just thought it was very unfair. I guess maybe the whole event with her fiance 10 years ago kind of made her depressed but no one seemed to talk about that and really Lol as a character in this book was pretty quiet. We don't hear a lot about her, we don't hear her um, you know talking in some sort of outburst, you know we don't see much emotion from her. She's, she's just this blank blank paper and it was just Kind of um kind of sad in a way so overall i just thought that this book kind of fell short in that aspect and i you know i i just thought that it would have been better to hear more about the main character hear more about her motivation because i was not getting any of that and yeah overall it was kind of disappointing so that's it for the ravishing of lolstein um, if you are interested in this book, you should totally get it and I don't know, maybe share your thoughts if you have read this book and you, if you liked it, I would love to know about that also. So um, yeah, pour out your thoughts, uh, don't bottle it inside and you know, be like lol. So anyway, um, I'll see you again in another video. So until then, take care and bye bye.